Alright, what's up y'all? It's like a fan here. In today's video, we're talking about selfishness in the 2K community, how it holds a lot of people back as a player, person, teammate, leader, just everything. And that's what the discussion of this video is. So anyway, as we get into these intros, I want to explain. We're playing EJ, the dude who does like the really funny Twitter videos. I gotta say, big shout out to him and big props. I respect everything that he does with his content. It's very original and just keep doing what you're doing, bro, if you're watching this video. But now, to talk about this dude, Zach, on the right, this mascot right here, right? Now, real quick before I get into this, I want to explain. We played two different mascots in this video. One was in the stage with my main build. The other was on the park with my playmaking slasher, six foot nine. So, anyway, both builds being featured in this video. I'm really happy about that. But, anyway, like I said, we're playing EJ and Zach. Now, Zach, this two raw clan. These dudes just hate me for whatever reason, bro. Now, anyway, like I said, we're not here to spread no negativity. That is not what I'm about. But I just do want to explain and kind of enlighten you guys about the stuff that I kind of like experience with this stuff. Now, Cook's on his offensive threat with sharp takeover. This is a playmaking sharpshooter with like the lack of defense. And then mine mine is the finisher, the, the finishing and defense pie chart, six foot nine. Now, anyway, like I said, to just kind of talk and like, you know, brief you guys on the negativity that you run into with this stuff. This dude, this two raw clan just absolutely hates me. It is like by far my biggest haters in the community. Honestly, this is the stuff that I feel like they probably want to be like enlightened and like known about is just, you know, a lot of people, any, any attention is good attention to some people. And I understand that. And here's the thing. I don't want y'all spreading any negativity. I don't want you like searching this dude up, like messaging him bad stuff or like, you know, I'm not going to lie. We've had, I've had a lot of times where I say that and y'all still don't do it <laughs> and y'all still spread that negativity. And listen, I love y'all for like supporting me like that. But listen, I don't want anybody, you know, sending like hateful stuff to anybody just because I call them out in a video. All right. That's not what we do around here. And it's as simple as that. Now, like I said, selfishness in this community. All right. I want to talk. This dude, Zach, ends up messaging my teammate, Cook, right? Just uh, spamming him with messages and just talking down on, like, me, him, just everything about what we do and, like, yada yada, just, like, my YouTube channel, us as players and stuff. Anyway, in the first place, I want to explain. This dude, Zach, was so happy about me only scoring two points in this game. Now, this is where the finger-pointing aspect of the selfishness comes into play, where everybody wants to be like, oh, my guy had zero points. My big man had zero rebounds. Listen, if you guys play big man, and honestly, it's probably product of how this guy plays and just you know his build where it's like oh i'm seven foot three i'm not playing any help defense even though i have a playmaking shot career on the front side of picks who's playing 2v1 like i mean look at this he, he has no chance at that now i kind of build him out with an illegal screen right there give him the ball back Th that was mostly on me now do i think that should have been an illegal screen probably not i think i got pulled into that mostly but anyway you get my point if this guy refuses to help play any good help defense and you know doesn't have a build equipped to it and look at this nonsense <laughs> they go out of bounds on the inbound that's just that's hilarious honestly if you ask me but anyway my whole point though and i hope you guys get that is like you know if dude re refuses to play any help defense and all he does is sit in the paint and he's showing quote unquote he's like sort of showing help but he's not actually helping i mean it's like it's like a lost cause he's just trying to make it look like he's playing help defense even though he's not even at all and now this is the thing maybe he knows that my play style is very much mental and like very high iq to where if he is gonna play high i'm taking that role every single time because he's not gonna be able to catch up to me like right here in a normal let me let me explain too let me just explain this play right here now in a normal game i would have slipped this but him being selfish right here and just constantly staying back right at this moment i try to rescreen and i set it too low now my my tendencies in the, my, my mindset went a little too low because i was looking to slip it and get right between the two of them because i thought big man was going to probably step up to cook here now the thing is he's just faking the entire time he's faking this the entire time look at him he's he's not even actually getting back if i could have got a good screen off this would have been an easy three-pointer would have been product of the fact that he didn't step up now the funny thing is with his build even if he steps up just a little bit i'm out here still getting the rebound <laughs> it's it's a beautiful thing bro is i love this build for the aspect of how it complements a play sharp so well this I, i'm gonna explain to you guys that too so again he's playing backside not helping at all dude's just getting torn up on the threes sharp takeover even pops up and he's still not gonna play any help d but again, I want to explain what my build is good for in this situation where even if they don't let me get to the hoop, my athleticism and ability to rebound and the vertical combined with the speed and all that. Look at that beautiful move by Cook right there, too. But all my abilities of this build complement very well to these paint camping bigs where I can set good picks even off the screen when a big is still sitting in the paint. I have the speed to get to the rebound positioning as well. Again, easy cook up right there honestly cook could have pulled the three a little sooner off that but again great speed he beats him to the mid-range spot right on this play actually no no okay i'm tripping so i have to take this out now 
honestly, if Cook didn't have Shark Take over on right here, I'm looking to size up for a contact dunk right here. I'm looking to just hammer this thing. Now, the thing is, like I say, you know, I'm not going to go for this because at the moment, I feel like we have a better shot in this and Cook does find it right there. Off dribble midi, 3% contest, sharp takeover, beautiful shot. Got the big man off his feet. That was actually like a really good sequence to the end of the shot clock that we were able to muster up right there. But again, like I said, just I hope you guys understand the pointing fingers aspect of the selfishness part of the video that I'm talking about here. Where again, like this dude EJ is doing a very good job if you ask me playing defense and fighting through picks. He is reaching a lot, don't be wrong. But again, he's he's doing what he can with the build that he's equipped with. And honestly, at the end of the day, this is a pretty bad lineup to come in here with. You got a big, big man and a small guard with like, <laughs> you know, the inability to really uh, like get open on. They wouldn't have been able to get open on pick and roll anyway. It would have just been post up from from Zach. And honestly, I could I feel like I can clamp that up pretty well at that point but anyway 21-0 again whoop de doo he held me to two points but it was 21-0 and he didn't make a single impact on this game except for a block where cook drove where he probably could have taken an off dribble mini instead and <laughs> honestly he probably wouldn't even have the speed to recover to that off dribble mid he probably would have had to just leave it wide open and just sit down there for the rebound because that's what he's probably trying to do just farm up his rebounds farm up his blocks just get easy points rebounds and blocks simple as that that's what these bigs are trying to do i'm not about that i had two points one rebound one assist and one steal and i feel like i made a pretty big impact on the game as far as the screen setting the the being able to get them open and just playing my role and, and sitting in my lane so anyway we're gonna make the cut to the second game real quick all right so now we're in the park with my playmaking slasher build now i want to explain this lineup that we played right here inside big man outside point guard simple as that you have a very weak interior defender or just defender in general at that point guard spot you have a great interior defender at that big man spot he's a finisher defender at seven foot three so his interior defense and block rating are literally just maxed with hall of fame defensive badges so you can see the lineups we're running here dopes on his playmaking defender and i'm on my playmaking slasher now the thing about this lineup is we both have the ability to shoot we both have the ability to finish and we both have good playmaking ability now dope has better defense than me and i have slightly better finishing ability and uh, so honestly a solid amount of playmaking compared to him as well okay so their lineup right here playmaking shot creator and paint beast so like i said very much so into your defense built big man and then lacking in defense at point guard simple as that so what we do in this game and this is the lack there of the selfishness from me where like i said a lot of creators you know they they set up these lineups to where they don't have another vi like viable ball handler it's always some two-way sharp that's going to have no fun on the game i'm not about that stuff i i want the dudes i'm playing with to enjoy themselves too because at the end of the day this is my livelihood me playing the game is very beneficial to my channel and them having enjoyment in it it creates them you know a good time while doing it as well honestly and that's what this game is about having a good time having fun playing the game and if me and dope can both enjoy our, our time while doing this and i still get good video content out of it that's what i play for simple as that now right there i don't know what's up with the tip passes lately with this stuff you saw i i'd like <laughs> i hit ej in the head with the pass earlier too now this is where i want to play the blame game all right this is where we're gonna like put the the blame game into into play where a lot of guys are like oh you shot one for seven or oh i held laker fan to two points stuff like that okay this is where a lot of stuff is a lot it takes a lot more evaluation than it really says okay so watch this big man through this game all right now you're gonna see I just want you guys to be on notice of that because we do get the ball here. We score a couple points where it's just a couple possessions we had. But I want y'all to be on notice of what this big man has like going on. So this dude cannot set a screen or roll for his life. Now, again, I don't mean to like throw any hate or throw any shade anywhere. But again, dude's elite three. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. Dude, dude really can't roll at any time. Now, this guard was out over here saying y'all suck, like like literally just saying we were trash. Now, from a broad standpoint, I could have been like, oh, you were one for seven. Like, like what kind of what kind of room do you have to be talking like talking stuff? Now, you see dope goes up with like the pretty bad hop right there and they get the green. OK, so from this point forward, you're going to see just the bad communication and bad roles from this big man. Now, again, this is where the blame game comes into play. A lot of people like to say, oh, like this guard was one for seven. Again, this big was not rolling when he needed to. He could have had so many easy points. I mean, look at look at how many opportunities we give him on these plays right here. Again, he could have he could have rolled there. They come off this screen. I, they go to the right. Again, just late roll. Again, could have slipped right here, but <laughs> the guard goes back to the wrong side. There's a lot of stuff that goes unspoken with this. And where, look at this, the guard's one for five at this point. And it's just, this screener is not able to get him open because we're playing sides on the picks and he can't take the cut down the middle. Now, again, 
just the fact that he's one for seven in this game is where like you know a lot of people will will critique him for that but again i realize that they're just at a complete disadvantage of their big men not being able to roll at, at the right times and he's an inside big now what I will say is a lot of these bigs resort to making shooting bigs because they don't know when to roll. It's as simple as that, really. And they just, like I said, they don't know when to roll. So they're just kind of like setting picks and then popping, letting the guard to dictate, you know, which way to go off the screen to get anybody open. That's the that's the tough thing about this. Now, I'm just going to put it like this. If you're an inside big and you can't beat sides defense, that's kind of tough. Now, I will say, too, the taller you are, the harder it is because you don't have the speed to cut through the middle. That is pretty tough. But again, kind of to, to backtrack and get to the point of like the lack of selfishness. Again, I'm putting trust in Dope to close this game out for us and take it at this guard. Now, if he gets poked right there, I'm not gonna call him. I'm not gonna call him out for selling or something like that. That's not something you can control as a player. That's not. Again, a lot of people just get this mentality and look at that. I mean, the positive energy. I, I'm not gonna say it's like my fault that he got that steal. But again, just you gotta talk your teammates up when they're down. You can't be talking like, oh like you just lost the ball you're trash like you're, you're never playing with me again stuff like that like bro and i'm only 21 all right a lot of people the way i talk you know in the mentality i have a lot of people think i'm like way older than that bro i i just am ahead of my time with this stuff i think as a leader and just a communicator as a teammate and like i said you got to put trust in your boys now right here crazy contact dunk bro <laughs> but hey like I said, you got to put trust in your boys. You got to you got to give them the power to do stuff as well and just motivate them as well. I mean, it's like, you know, a good a good teammate is never going to, you know, talk down on their teammate. You got to when they make a mistake, you got to talk them up. And it's as simple as that. So, again, dope is still taking this stuff. And obviously, like I said, I have full trust in him to, to get this done. Like I said, I'm not taking it straight at this inside big man who's got 99 defense and 99 block. It's as simple as that. That's what, and that is the tough thing about the lineup that we used to run with my finisher where I can't shoot is when I play with dope, we can't let him take it at point guards like this. Now, right here, I hit the white. Dope hits a white coming up here as well. I know y'all aren't gonna like the ending to this game. You're like, oh, it takes no skill to be able to hit white like that. Listen, they don't drop every time. And I do have my shot meter on the end of the day too. So anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and kind of got the the topic I was getting at here and just that like I said you got to you got to talk your teammates up you can't talk them down those two were beefing at the end of the game too that uh like I said the the dudes that we were playing before that and just like I said I mean team chemistry can help so much too just from a from a factor of like if y'all get along really well and you actually are like good friends on the game too it's just it's tough to to match that bro I mean when you have chemistry and like work together well it's tough to beat that and you just got to understand positivity and like positive vibes can really do a lot more for for you than just your mood okay so anyway to close this video out real quick i want to explain you see they're playing this high low defense where it's basically like the guard's going to be up on me and then the big sit in paint right so boom i get past him i want to explain why i do this instead of hitting dope right away from this wing so if i pass the dope on that wing i have no chance at the o board right here i'm just fighting for positioning for the rebounding by dribbling believe it or not okay so I'm just trying to get to the paint a little bit. You see, I get down low, get the big to help a little bit and not make him think even the slightest in helping to that corner. So then the corner gets open and I'm here for the O board just in case he misses. You see great positioning. I, I just wanted to explain that real quick before we close this video out, that that is something I do think about and and executed well on that play. So anyway, four for four, two for two from three. Again, I didn't put up 23 points. I had 10. But at the end of the day, it was what we needed to do to get the win. No easy, no egotistical stuff over here. We do what we got to do to win games and win them while having fun at the end of the day. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and kind of understand the outlook that I had on this commentary. And just that it's, it's more than just like, like I said, the ego cannot get in your way. And it's tough sometimes if you have like a very big following. But I'm doing my best to like cancel that out as well. And just never, never let that ego take over like a lot of people have as well and some of these people have like no following no people that really honestly you know will will gas them up at all like that and they still have crazy ego and it's crazy to me so anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video like i did like i said if you did feel free to drop a like sub if you're new turn on the noties put laker in the comments if you made it all the way to the end of the video you see this dude's got like a 92 win percent too i just was gonna highlight that but anyway seven three big man <laughs> y'all know what i'm y'all know i'm the biggest hater of the seven three bigs but anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video like i said if you did feel free to drop a like sub if you're new turn on the noties put laker in the comments and other than that, if we get this like a thousand likes, that'd be tight. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace.